With our headline, Chicago's mayor and police department are reacting after deadly violence over the holiday weekend. WGN's Jenna Barnes joining us now live from an event Chicago police are hosting right now. Jenna. Yeah, Mike and Ray, they are battling the weather a little bit right now, but 11th District police officers are holding a pop-up event for the community right behind us after a violent Memorial Day weekend. They have shut down Lawndale Avenue at Division Street. They're knocking on doors to bring neighbors outside. They offered free ice cream, all in an attempt to engage with this community. The pop-up event, I'm told, was planned before the violence this weekend. From Friday evening through Monday night at midnight, 40 one people were shot across the city. 10 people were murdered. One of those killings hitting this area served by the 11th police district especially hard. A five year old girl rain Ware, was shot and killed while she was sitting in a parked car on South Campbell Avenue early Sunday morning around 3:30 in the morning. No one has been arrested in her murder. Today, Mayor Brandon Johnson responded to questions about the weekend violence. And so we continue to offer support services for these families um, who are dealing with this trauma and the loss. And we all grieve together. You know, look, there's a lot of work to be done still. No one is going to um, deny that. What I can say, though, is homicides and shootings are down. They are. And this holiday weekend was less violent than Memorial Day weekend last year. In 2023, 53 people were shot. So we saw a 22% decrease in shootings. 11 people were killed last Memorial Day weekend. So that makes for a 9% drop in homicides this year. Police here in Humboldt Park, even in this rain, say they will be out here until 8 o'clock tonight talking with neighbors here. We're live in Humboldt Park. Jenna Barnes, WGN News.